All right, everybody, we're going to get right into it here. Uh, immediately, you can tell here that the lights here on the chest do not light up. There is no battery pack. The cape is wired. It's very loosely wired on the edge here, as you guys can tell. Okay, but you can you can play with it. You can get some pretty cool effects. You you know, you just have to kind of futz with him a little bit. The Moff Gideon just came out. He's retailing at $250 US at Sideshow. If you guys haven't already picked him up, there is a link in the description below. I do have an affiliate link here with Sideshow that greatly helps support the channel. The holster here is not that bad. It is that kind of pleather material. I'm going to show you guys a little bit later how you can mess with the holster. It's kind of tricky. The boots here, on the other hand, these boots are very similar to like Qui-Gon Jinn, um, some other figures that you may be aware of in, in the past releases. They're okay, but I feel like over time, these are going to degrade depending on how harsh you are with the feet. He does have, um, you know, split ankles here, kind of within though, not on the outside. So there is going to be some creasing, uh, maybe potential flaking down the road. I'd recommend maybe using some 303 on this, um, you know, application as well, just to kind of keep it, keep it fresh, man. So be careful with the, be careful with the boots. The head sculpt is phenomenal in my opinion. I know uh, initial reception, a lot of people didn't really like it. I'm telling you in hand, I absolutely love this figure looks just like moff gideon no problems here you can see the detail again hot toys is killing it with the sculpted hair now here you can see the belt the belt's kind of also this kind of cheap pleather it's kind of what we're used to uh you know with hot toys but it's not bad now the body is double jointed and with the knees the knees are heavily ratcheted it's very very nice uh, i'll show you here in just a second as you can see each each bend of the knee is just click 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 it's very it's very sturdy has that real nice feel to it um very solid you know if that makes sense if you guys are used to having ratcheted joints you know exactly what i'm talking about here very easy to manipulate and and pose this figure articulation again fully double jointed on the elbows and the knees is very very good the posability on this figure is awesome uh, being all cloths a huge advantage just being able to pull off a lot more dynamic poses here he's not very restrictive um kind of like Django fett is now the holster here is a little tricky the blaster looks cool as expected uh, you know it, it, it's a blaster it looks great there's nothing nothing too too great to sing you know home about but it's still a great feature the holster here is a little bit tricky though however as you can see it doesn't stick there's no glue there's no button you have to kind of like push the holster a little and slide it in now the dark saber is probably my favorite accessory thus far it does not light up however but they do this nice painting on it this application around the edges as you can see here really makes it look like it's lit up though it's not right if that makes any kind of sense if you have good lighting the the, the dark saber really stands out it's very very cool now the swooping version here the attacking version it, it's not bad it's it's more or less the same you can see the white here and you know and the the electric kind of cracks in between here it does it does stand out it is actually pretty nice now you can also swap these out you can take out the dark saber and then you can replace it with like the the top of the hilt that makes it appear that it's not on which is which is also cool so there's a couple different swap out options here for you guys just for posability which you can see right here you just go ahead and slide it in just like that and boom it's it's good to go it's good to go you can put it on the holster you know whatever you want to do now, overall, I think he's a pretty good figure. I don't really have any complaints whatsoever. I think the price point's pretty good. Again, the armor's really neat. It's got that nice shine to it. it he does not light up. You can tell, again, you know, with the wired capes, really, really handy. I love being able to just kind of manipulate and pose. Having all cloth like this gives him great posability. He only comes with four other extra hands. Not that big of a deal, though, to tell you the honest truth, because he just comes with the blaster and dark saber. Still think he's pretty awesome. I don't know if this Moff Gideon's going to end up turning into like a, you know, like a Krennic situation where he's going to run out and he's just going to be really hard to get down the road. But I definitely recommend him, guys. He's a great addition to your Mandalorian collection or just your Star Wars Imperial collection in general. Uh, with that, guys, it's short and sweet. I'm going to go ahead and leave on a high note here. We're going to go ahead and show off some poses with him and some other figures. If you guys like the video, just make sure to like, subscribe. We'll see you guys in the next video.